Hello, and welcome to a tutorial called Jamboard. Jamboard is a Google product. It's a web app that works on all mobile devices. If you're going to get to it on a computer, you can go to jamboard.google.com. If you're going to get to it on a mobile device, whether it's an iOS product or an Android product, you got to go to the appropriate app store and download the app. Now I will say that if you, because of the touch feature on the mobile devices, I think on things like an Apple iPad, as well as uh, an Android tablet, I think this particular tool is especially effective uh, on those particular features, uh, tools, because of some of the additional features that you get that aren't available to you on the computer version of it, of which I'm on now. Now, when you launch, launch Jamboard at jamboard.google.com, you'll essentially get a white screen. I happen to have a couple of Jamboards that I've already created here, just so you can see kind of how they work. And so we're going to go ahead and get started here. So basically, it's a collaborative whiteboard where you're creating jams. That's what these individual things are. And they work just like all the other Google apps. So you have the sharing privileges and all those other things. You can share, you can invite people to collaborate with you. Um, all kinds of different things from that perspective. You can use these for brainstorming, teamwork because of the sharing component, visual storytelling, digital bulletin board, as well as storyboarding. Oftentimes a photographer, a graphic designer, a videographer, uh, before they get into telling their story, they like to lay it out first. So this would be kind of a way to do that. Could be used for explaining a, a steps in a process, a little flow chart, timeline, any of these types of things could be effective. And if you have a touchscreen laptop, or you're having um, something like one of those tablets, you could do it on a smartphone, but it would be quite a bit smaller. But if you have a tablet with a stylus, it would work really well for whiteboard demonstrations, things like math problems, economics, accounting, um, engineering. If you had maybe some uh, language in an English class, you had some paragraphs or some statements and you wanted to work on sentence structure or, or various types of things along the way where you could then kind of mark it up with the stylus, this would be a very effective tool to use. So a lot of the um, types of shortcuts that you would use, uh, things like uh, control C, control V for copy and paste, you have that ability in this product as well too, uh, command C and command V if you're on a Mac. And you can bring in various types of things. I found that uh, you can actually bring in various uh, clips, pictures, and actually Google Drive uh, docs, uh, sheets, and slides can actually come in to these particular jams if you're using a Chromebook or a mobile device. You're not able to bring those in, or at least no way that I've figured out how to bring those in using the Mac or PC laptop version of the software. So again, a situation where it seems to have a little bit more usability with a mobile device or a Chromebook. So let me show you what one is going to look like and show you the different components here. So I've launched a jam. This one's called FIN 1010. I have a particular background on it. Slide this over a little bit so you can see the toolbar here. And so this is called a jam, this entire presentation. And so we have, as you can see here, three different frames. There's my second frame. My third frame is blank. We'll actually do some work on that one. So again, you can move back and forth. So what I have is 
various items. I have some text. I have what looks like post-its. They are called sticky notes. And I have a couple of images, and we'll show you how all those come on. We also have a toolbar along the left. We have a pen tool. We have an erase tool. We have a selection tool. We have a sticky note tool. We have an images tool. And we have a laser tool. Now you might be able to see that alongside each one of these tools, you sometimes can have additional features. For example, this top one here, this pen tool, you have three different thicknesses, if you will, of the writing instrument. If you are not using a stylus on either a touchscreen laptop, a Chromebook, or on a tablet device, you're going to have to rely on the mouse. Now, I'm not very good with that, but I'll show you a, a way that you can kind of get around that using the sticky notes. The marker is a little thicker. It's the same thing. Understand you have the same six colors here. And some of you might wonder, well, how good is the white going to be if I have a white background? Well, again, here you can see there's a different color background here, and you have choices of backgrounds. One of them is black, kind of like the old days, black chalkboard, and then white writing on the black chalkboard would actually stand out. This is the highlighter, and then there's the paintbrush. Now, I've played around with this a little bit, and I don't really like the highlighter at all. It's In my mind, it's not thick enough. I would prefer, if I wanted to highlight something, maybe use this yellow-orangish color and highlight something, I would prefer to use the paintbrush tool. I think that works a little bit better than the highlighter, which it's a little messier. Okay. But it depends on, you know, because, I mean, this kind of covers up your letters, so I don't know that it really works that well as a highlighter. It's more of a paint over the top. I almost think that the language of those two tools should be switched. So you have two different types of erases that you can do. You can actually click on the eraser here, in which case then you can Use it as you would an actual eraser, or if you've ever used digital erasers, you're familiar with this. And you can kind of clean that up real nice. Or there is this eraser here called Clear Frame. Now what the Clear Frame is going to do is it's going to take and completely wash out this board and have everything go away, and it's going to be a white piece of paper. So it might not be what you want, but if you accidentally do that, you also have the Undo button right here. Just to show you the second uh, frame here, we have a kind of a title sticky note. We have some additional sticky notes, and then I use the pen tool to kind of like draw some connections here between some of these. Go back to the selection tool so I don't accidentally erase something. And then I have an image here of a financial statement that was pulled into this item here. So if we get over onto this third frame of which I don't have anything on, let's actually start adding some components to this particular slide. So again, I can use the pen tool and I could say hi. Again, if I have a stylus, this is going to be easier to do than if I don't. Ideally, You know, there are ways to use it, but again, I'm not that good with a mouse. Maybe you're better, but I think it works a lot better if you're using a stylus on a touchscreen device, and that works well. So I'm going to do my clear frame here and get rid of everything, show you how that works. We've already showed you the eraser tool. I'm going to put my pen tool back to black, selection tool. Okay, so we have choices of stickies. We can have no color. We can have, as you've already seen, this one. So these are both stickies. This one, as you can see, does have a border around it. But 
since you have the kind of clear, if you will, or white sticky, it blends in with the white background. But you can see there is a background here. So since I have the selection tool, I can grab this. I can move this around. I can move this around. I can take and change the orientation. I can make something larger or smaller just by grabbing the corner, clicking and dragging. I can also duplicate. Now I got two of these hellos. So I can go back in and edit it. And so I've just taken the hello. And I've changed that around. I can add a background. That's dots. We have blue horizontal lines. We have kind of like hatches. Um, think about this as like graph paper for math. We have this blue background, or we have the black chalkboard. And again, you can see that that hello completely disappeared. This would be where I would have to uh, actually go down to this one. And that's, oh, actually, that's not going to give me the, uh, that's where I'm going to have to go here and change it. To the white so it kind of looks like chalk on a chalkboard thing okay again clear the frame change my background back to just white so i can go into the image location here and so i can upload something from my computer i can suit search google images i can go into something that i may have stored in google drive or photos on my particular device so let's say I'm going to try money. So maybe I want this one. I can say select. That'll bring it onto my frame. I can drag it again, like we said before. I can change the size. I can adjust it. I can duplicate it if I maybe this is something that I want to have here. Go in and get another image. Get this bankroll. And I can pop sticky in here. Oops. Huh. I've opened up another tool on my particular machine. Okay, sorry about that. That was just a drawing program that I happen to have on this machine, and I accidentally <laughs> clicked the wrong two keys, which was the shortcut to open the program. So uh, ignore that particular piece. So we're back at our front frame. And just some things to. Um, be aware of if you want to use things like a Chromebook or the mobile devices. One of the things that I've been able to figure out is on the mobile device, you have a little plus sign that's on the toolbar, which you do not have on a computer version. And what that allows you to do is that allows you to go in and add in things from your Google Drive area. You can add in docs, you can add in slides, and you can add in sheets and then pull that up and then annotate right over the top and everything. So another way to use this tool to tell a story. Also, what I found out with the, the selection tool, when you're on those touchscreen devices, 
is if I have uh, identified this item from the selection tool and I've decided that I'd like this to be larger, you can take the little two fingers and spread them apart, kind of like the drag motion to expand something like you normally would as one of your touchscreen functions besides what you can do here on the computer. So if you're on a touch screen, now the select tool must be selected first in order to allow you to do that. Okay, so just some things that I found uh, kind of a little bit more tool usage in the mobile device side or specifically things that have a touch screen. Now I do have a drawing tablet that I might play around with at some particular point, because if I can get that to work with this tool, then when I click on the pen tool here and I use my uh, my pen, my drawing pen, my stylus, it will actually take over for the mouse. And that would be very, very functional for things like a math situation or accounting, something where you want to do a bunch of numbers and you don't really want to have to type it all out. You don't want to have to create a sticky for all of them. So just another tool jamboard.google.com or load the Jamboard app on your iOS or Android device and start playing around and making some jams. Thank you.